What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Trinity, back again with another video for you guys. And I definitely want you guys to go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you like tutorials because I'm going to start doing a lot more here. As you guys know, I'm a natural stylist, and I wanted to show you guys how to instant lock with crochet needles. If you've already seen my previous tutorial video, I showed you how to do a standard retwist. All I need is a comb and a crochet needle. It can have three prongs or just one. I like to have mine pointing downward. And you're going to take your fingers and do this twisting motion. As you hold the lock in one hand and the crochet needle in the other. All you're going to do is as you're twisting, you're going to be pushing the crochet needle in and out of the lock as you're twisting and moving downward. This is creating the instant lock look because all you're doing is taking the loose hairs that are on the outside of the lock and you're tangling them intentionally with the crochet needles. You can do this with just the three prong again or just the one prong either way it's a little faster if you have a lot longer hair this client had long locks already so it was a lot faster using the three hooks um, but you can also use the one and I did give an example of me using the one hook as well but pretty soon when I get it finished you will see the outcome and it is beautiful nice and uniform just like that and it's simple and easy not hard at all I always go over it just with the palm roll, especially if the hair is long enough, just to make it look nice and neat. But there you go. I'm just doing a standard retwist to start because you never want to start crocheting the hair at the root. Um, what would happen if you start too high is you'll make the hair stick up. You could tear some hair out at the root of the hair and you don't want to do that. Same thing you were doing before, use the same motion, and I'm showing you basically without the hair how the same thing that I do. Going in and out, and with this being a one hook, I'll go in from the top. There we go. And again, here's me reinforcing that lock. And now you see it's a lot neater and nicer looking, more uniform. And that's the look we're going for here. So I also wanted to show you how to get the blunt ends. You wanna do the one prong. When you go in from a slightly higher than the end, you wanna grab the last little pieces of hairs that are sticking out of the lock and pull that up into the lock and just kinda of do the same motion, the twisting and the poking motion that you were doing previously. And this will give the end of your lock a little bit more of a blunt. I need you 